Hi, it's crypto hardware wallet time because you know I'm into the cryptos and uh, I've used the Trezor wallets. I've got uh, two Model Ts. I've also had an original Model 1 or something it was called, but uh, all of my cryptos kept on two uh, Trezor Model uh, Ts, but you can never have too many crypto hardware wallets, so don't put your eggs all in the one basket. So I thought I'd get uh, a couple more uh, Trezor hardware wallets, but they don't seem to make the Model T anymore, so I got this um, new uh, Safe 5 model basically the same size and shape as the model uh, t here except it's like uh, sleeker more polished the major difference uh, really is that the old model t uh, just used a regular microcontroller um to store the uh, secure stuff so eh, as long as you got it in your possession it's fine but you know somebody gets a hold of it potentially not as secure as if you had a uh, proper secure element. So you can see that's got an EAL 6 Plus secure um, element protection. So it's got a dedicated uh, secure chip in there which has physical, uh, which will have physical uh, security. I'm not sure which actual chip. Um, it's open source so go look at the schematics. But yeah, the separate physical uh, chip which holds up uh, the secure element will actually have physical barriers on the die as well so if you kind of like etch it off or you try and laser it off or whatever it's got um, a more better protection anyway can't buy the model one uh, anymore as far as I know so I'm going to do this uh, new uh, safe five I've also got the much much cheaper um, safe three it's exactly the same uh, except it doesn't have a touchy feely screen on it it's just got uh, two buttons uh, instead and that one doesn't have uh, the secure element in it but it is way way cheaper so eh going to try out both. Now the thing about crypto hardware wallets is you don't want to be caught out by a man in the middle attack, i.e. a supply chain attack. So you've got to buy it directly from the Trezor website. Mine came from the Czech Republic and there it is, made in the EU. And uh, I really like um, the secure case on it. It's got like a security zip um, seal on it, kind of shrink wrap security zinc, uh, zip seal. And then inside, ah, there's a seal. Get it? And then also comes with a uh, security foil uh, sticker around the USB, so you know no one, so you know somebody hasn't shoved something up the clacker um, in uh, transit. So when you peel that off, it's got the void um, thing on there. So I've already uh, pulled peeled that off. So thumbs up for the uh, like security measures on the Trezor, but they've always been very good. But yeah. Do not buy them on eBay or from any other supplier whatsoever. Order them directly from the Trezor website. Same thing goes for any other brand uh, crypto hardware wallet. And you get your 20 key uh, wallet backup. You get uh, two of those um, here. So just a paper one. You can get like uh, third party metal ones and you can uh, inscribe and they can survive a nuclear blast and all that sort of jazz. So here we go. I've plugged it in and it's uh, popped up on the uh, screen there. Uh, Trezor.io slash start but I've already installed the uh, software on here. So device security check. Uh, my device was bought from the official Trezor shop or trusted reseller. Tick. Um, my hologram was intact and untampered with. Tick. The device package was intact and untampered with. Tick. Or thumbs. Um, so set up my Trezor. Takes 15 minutes. <laughs> I wonder if you click I have doubts. <laughs> They probably go a big spiel about, you know, how uh, you can get a man in the middle attack or something like that. Installing firmware, your Trezor is shipped without firmware. Oh, install the latest firmware in order to use your device safely for Bitcoin only. We recommend no. Um, I want all of them. Uh, so install firmware uh, 2.83. There you go. Um, fixed. Fixed persistent word when going to previous word your recovery process added missing info about retaining shares in in re remaining shares in super shamir recovery oh, and i don't know what that is i have to investigate that but uh, yeah they're always updating um the software and uh i've only ever had one issue with it and that was recently but it was fixed seems like it was fixed in this latest version it wouldn't detect my wallet my existing model t wallets <laughs> panicked for a bit actually um and i bet i just went back to a previous version of the trezor suite software i'm running this on windows uh 10 and um it worked fine so i knew there was nothing wrong with my <laughs> uh crypto or my uh wallet it was just a bug and sure enough uh, the release for this uh, latest trezor suite version uh one of the bug fixes is it fixed a detection thing as uh, some sort of obscure detection bug which i obviously have but uh no i've checked it and it works fine so beauty so install firmware let's go uh oh, yep 
installing firmware. It says installing firmware. I'll get back to you. And it looks like it's done, beauty. Um, I'll just show you the uh, GitHub hardware here. And yep, I've got the symbol on there. There you go. Um, and yes, in the hardware on the GitHubs, they've got uh, the Safe 5. So they added that, uh, risk schematics. Um, is, is that all they got? Yeah, there you go. They've got the schematic. So there you go. That's the Trezor. So let's, uh, can we zoom in on this? Here you go. So this is the big ass micro they got in here. Where's the part number? Trezor in the Czech Republic. So there you go. They've got all the protection on the uh, bus there. Ah, there it is. STM32U585. There you go. Um, so the other Trezors um, just saw score, store the secure element inside the micro, but this one um, here, and that looks like the SD card, micro SD card slot there on the side. Uh, they got a uh, fed up there for the um, switching the power. And where's our secure opted? You get Trust M. <laughs> there you go. So there's our secure element. It's just got I squared C interface and trust Optiga trust M. There you go. It looks like it's an Infineon jobby. Easiest way to add security to your existing in and things design grown. Um, uh, certified tamper resistant hardware. Yeah, as I said. Um, so that's the uh, that's the standard. Um, I believe I'm not currently up on all the uh, uh, physical hardware uh, standards, but uh, yes, it would have. So all this stuff, I'm sure, is very impressive to your to all you crypto uh, aficionados. Oh yeah, the NIST curves up to P five one two. Absolutely. Oh, they specified a lifetime. That's interesting. Twenty years for industrial. Hmm. There you go. Data sheet. Does it have any info on like the physical, like hardware? security aspects um uh, i don't know yeah maybe they don't want to tell you but yeah it'll have like embedded mesh over the die and all sorts of uh stuff like that that actually prevents you from physically uh probing the die if you happen to uh get the case off and stuff like that so yep there you go cool bananas so let's continue shall we uh, let's check your device this check must do a step uh, do step to ensure your device's reliability and integrity is confirmed the chip inside is genuine from trezor uh, interesting once your device has been given a clean bill of health okay let's see i'm pretty sure i got a genuine one ordered it straight from the website came from the czech republic can just and trust the Czech Republic. Authenticate device, it says. Allow connected computer to confirm your Trezor uh, 5 is genuine and safe. Yes. Swipe up. Yes. Tap to confirm. Yeah. Ooh, it had, uh, I think I felt some tactile feedback there. Must have a little vibrator in it. Don't you love it when your crypto vibrates? Safe 5 is ready to go. Beauty. Continue on Trezor. Know your Trezor. Learn how to use and navigate this device with ease. Swipe up. Swipe down to move through screens. Yep. Learn how to use and navigate. Blah, blah, blah. Hold to exit tutorial. Ooh, ooh vibrates. Oh, create a new wallet. I don't want to recover my old ones. I still want to use my old ones. So let's create a new wallet. Default type. Backup, single share backup generates a single set of 20 words. This backup is upgradable to multi-share. Ah, multi-shared backup. Look at this. It generates multiple 20 word shares to recover your wallet. Set a minimum recovery number, then distribute shares to trusted individuals or hide them securely. Um, I'm pretty, I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, but this was not an option in the previous Trezors. Or maybe it wasn't, I just forget but what's going on here is uh, basically if, if we choose this option which i won't um we can generate multiple 20 word security lists okay one is already ridiculously secure but if you want to be ridiculously ridiculously secure ludicrous levels of security then you can say okay i want to generate five different 20 word keyword lists and to get back into the wallet to recover it you need all five <coughs> You, you you can't just use one. You need all five. So um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to do a single share default. So I'm going to create a new wallet. Confirm on Trezor. Uh, by continuing, you agree to the terms and conditions. Yep. Hold to confirm. Continue holding. I'm doing that. Processing. Two seconds left. One second left. Done. Swipe wallet created. Okay, our wallet's been created. It's swiped up. We should get our word list now. 
and backup needed, it says on the screen. Sorry if you can't see that, but yeah, anyway, backup needed. Um, you don't want to skip backup. You want your backup. Continue to backup. <laughs> your wallet lets you recover your funds in case of your wallet backup. Never take it. Yes. Okay, so you just ticking these. Never take a picture of your backup or store it digitally. Don't take a photo with your shoe phone and then keep it in your bloody cloud. It's a, don't even store it on your shoe phone. No. Take a, if you want to, um, physically write out another one. Don't take a photocopy because photocopiers can have, like, uh, they store the images on the hard drive internally. So you can come with guts of that way. Um, so, yeah, just write out another one. And then, once you've written them all out, Make sure that you actually check them. You can. There's a verify feature in the Trezor Suite software that allows you to verify your list. Store your wallet backup securely and never share it with anyone. Yep, create wallet backup. Trezor will display your wallet backup, write it down accurately and store securely. It's the only way to recover your funds. Yep, never put your backup anywhere digital. Yep, <laughs> write the following 20 words in order on your wallet backup card. Words may repeat. Swipe up. Okay. I'm not going to tell you. you know, I'm not gonna, you're not going to see any of this. So I'll even stop recording just in case. Okay, once it did that, I've got my 20 words here uh, and I'm going to verify those. It puts up, what it does is it just chooses a random one, like, you know, number seven, um, and then it gives you three options and you have to pick the correct uh, one and it will basically go through and verify it, make sure you haven't done anything dumb. But the good thing is they're English words so that uh, really, you know, they're pretty hard to goof up unless you get them in the wrong order. Okay, we've backed up the wallet physically onto paper, continue to pin, and we're going to set a physical hardware pin that just allows you to, you know, so that you've got an extra layer of security there, so that if someone physically gets this, and they, you know, and they don't have any other way to, like, physically hack the thing, then, which is really difficult, um, and then they will uh, have to get past the uh, pin like this, so, yeah. So you can skip it, but I would not recommend it. All of my hardware wallets have pins on them. And don't put something stupid like 1234 or your postcode or, you know, something dumb like that. And, or somewhere where something that you've reused uh, somewhere else. Don't do it. Turn on pin protection, enter new pin. I will. Ooh, this keyboard's bigger than the old Trezor one. This keyboard looks uh, bigger than the old Trezor Model uh, T because I had a real problem with that. I don't have big fingers, but even I was struggling to, you know, get the right numbers on there. Processing, two seconds, one second left, done. Beautiful, pin protection turned on. Swipe up. Now we can activate uh, the coins that we want to use on this. Uh, myself, not a recommendation at all, but uh, myself, I hold uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, I hold Cardano, um, I held a little bit of Solana, um, Ripple, uh, uh, oh, maybe, uh, might have some Ethereum Classic somewhere, but um, uh, Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin Cash, um, and yeah, that's it. But I'll install those, no worries. Okay, complete setup. Go to Trezor Suite. Oh, you can edit the name. And boom, I am in. And of course, because this is a brand new wallet, I don't have any crypto. Oh. <laughs> but it's trying to find it. <laughs> it's trying to find my assets. Um, I really like the Trezor interface. It works really well. I won't go through it. But uh, yeah, uh, the, these wallets, I've all got zippity doodah here. Um, but once I uh, transfer some in, they will show up here and it just works really well. I like how it works. I won't go into uh, receiving and sending and all that uh, sort of stuff. Trust me, uh, the Trezor suite is really nice. I like it. And I even use it for uh, Cardano uh, staking as well because I stake my Cardano and that works fantastically as well. So there you have it. There's the new Trezor Safe 5. The um, Safe 3, it'll be exactly the same except it's not touchscreen. It'll just have uh, two buttons here so the user interface experience is uh, slightly different, has a screen on it uh, to tell you what to do. Um, so yeah, it's not as nice as a touchscreen, but it does cost a lot less, uh, but this doesn't have the physical hardware uh, security in it, but neither did my original Model T's, which I still love and trust. No worries. So I guess they don't make a touchscreen model without 
the uh, secure element in it anymore. You've got to pony up for the Safe 5, which is considerably more expensive than the Safe 3. Um, but the Safe, something like the Safe 3 is all you need as a basic um, hardware wallet. I'm just getting the Safe 5 because I can and I'm really into this sort of stuff. So yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, Trezor's, as I said, the only uh, crypto hardware wallet that I actually use. I have a few others, but like Ledgers and um, other ones. Um, but yeah, I don't use them. I uh, use and trust the Trezor ones. So there you go. If you like the video, give it a big th thumbs up. And the anti crypto people are going to flame below. Go ahead. Care factor zero. Oh, by the way, I used to accept crypto on the EV log store um, back when it was on WooCommerce, but now I've moved it to Shopify. And I've had a few issues with trying to actually get the crypto working again, but I'm working on it. But at the moment, sorry, you can't buy my meters with crypto. Although, you know, manually email me, hey, Dave. I want to buy a meter with crypto. No worries. I'll send you an address and you can just do it. We can do it manually, the old fashioned way. And I prefer the dark mode. Anyway, um, there you have it. It goes without saying, uh, if you're using a software wallet for your crypto, don't do that. Uh, if you're keeping your crypto on an exchange, don't do that unless you're like trading all the time. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Keep your crypto safe on a hardware wallet like this. Um, because the exchanges get hacked. That's happened countless times. So only transfer from your hardware wallet to the exchange when you actually want to sell them and get your fiat back um, to do whatever with. So, yeah, otherwise, no. Nah. Hardware wallets are the way to go. Anyway, catch you next time.